hello welcome to my new video see that Raspberry Pi 0w which is a very small microprocessor first we'll firstly we need to connect the power cable to our microprocessor small microprocessor we have the indication of all things we have power input and your USB port for keyboard and mouse we have HDMI port for display we have SD card for booting the for booting the Raspberry Pi we have GPIO pins and some hit some GPIO pins and heat sink which cool down the system and here we go into the system to access its we have also a VNC viewer and now I am trying to log in it via putty and we have our command prompt for checking the ping it is a very simple process to ping the IP address of our Raspberry Pi you all get the random IP address for your Raspberry Pi here I have the 192.168.43.163 the IP of our Raspberry Pi and here we get the ping sent for and received for that means we have getting the ping request we SSH on our Pi and just log in as a Pi and give the password Raspberry as by default it is Raspberry and here you have that we log into our system and type sudo apt update for updating your system files which is very mandatory for functioning of our system here you will see here you will see that it is taking too much time to update we will see if we can sp skip that process with the internet the system is not connected with the internet so it is not getting the update files from a few moments later and just type, type the ls command to check the directories and just go into the cd desktop we need to be very specific on the letter we have to write D as a capital letter and desktop just I type ls command in the desktop we have the directory we just make a directory for testing purpose just write a mkdir test so making a file here you will see that we have a test file and you can cd test into it and just cd test into it cd going into the direct directory of test and just type ls command to check if there is any file or not there is no file it's made we make a file typing nano test.txt just type hello to all youtubers i just type that to giving greeting to you just type control plus x for using the exit exit command after using control plus x you will exit from the command line of nano interface and uh, you just need to type y for accepting the yes command which will plus y for saving the command and just press enter and after that just press enter and your text will be saved again use an ls command you can get the text your file in the ssh terminal if you want to see in a gui format or we will say gui format you will use a vnc viewer just type the ip of your vn the ip of your vnc and just go into the directory we have that test directory in front of you and uh, just open it the test directory and we have the text file text test.txt just click on it after opening you will see that the file is the ditto we written in the ssh terminal so it will just clear your clear your concept that uh, we will make a file and edit the file in ssh terminal and we are able to edit and checking that file we I, I will show you how to delete a file from 
through SS term SSH terminal secure shell terminal and just go into it type mkdi sorry cd dot dot to go into the uh, go back directory just type ls command to check the list of that and just type rm test sorry you do not you doesn't need rm dot test because for deleting the directory you need to type rm dir test uh, here you will see I just type rm for deleting the directory you need to type rm dir three weeks later type your name of your folder or directory just you will see that uh, it gone in a second it is deleted from the system and it doesn't need to do anything you will see just by using the SSH terminal we are able to do anything just use sudo shutdown to shut down our Raspberry Pi it will work like a charm and just close it all the systems uh, if you like this video please like share and subscribe but keep sharing keep giving love to us